What is Hawkeye's fate in the Marvel Universe? Power Rangers has started casting, and Bill and Ted 3 is coming! What's up everybody, welcome to Totally Fan, the show where I, a total fan, come to you and I bring you news in movies, video games, TV shows, comic books, everything involving the world of fandom, and we bring that information to you. Now today, I got a new friend, Mr. Matt, and of course, down below on Skype, we have Mr. Jesse. Um, so Hi. <laughs> before we get started, uh, Matt, how are you involved in the world of fandom? How are you a nerd? Um, kind of grew up on it, man. Uh, kind of grew up on D and D. Yeah, I'm that guy. Whatever, <laughs> it's cool. I am cool. It's whatever. Um, being into anime back in the day, not so much now, but still there are some you know good you know shows out there, or whatever. Uh, I don't mean to brag, ladies, but uh, I was founder and president of the Anime Club. I know y'all wondering, why is he single? <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. What a, that's and a, I'm a total, I play games all the time. That's all I do. It's Games are awesome. Nice. <laughs> what a, that's, a, that's a pretty good intro so far, I think. I think he takes the kick on that one. Recently, uh, there was a report about Hawkeye about a solo movie. Jeremy Renner, the actor himself, has stated that he does not want to go forward with the movie. Um, however, he did hint at him being in Captain America 3. Now, we did kind of talk about possible rumors, possible hints that he's going to be in Captain America 3 uh, in a couple episodes ago. And so now we're just getting more proof, okay, he's coming, which is great. Because Jesse and I both agreed that we should have seen more, more Jeremy, more Hawkeye in the movies. Um, now, uh, why it's not a big shocker that he's not getting a solo movie for two different reasons. First, Marvel has their plan. Um, they have their main characters, and, and of course, the movie-going audience, they don't really know Hawkeye that well. So him getting his own solo movie, you know, obviously wasn't gonna happen. And part of him saying that it's not gonna happen and him not pushing for it is probably uh, for publicity reasons. You know, they probably tell him, don't push for it because we can't do it. You're not that great of a, or rather, you're not that well-known of a character, so we won't be able to do that for you. Yeah, because it wasn't gonna actually What's his villain gonna be? What bullseye? You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> there's only there's only so much you can do. Galactus versus you know. <laughs> right. <Hawkeye. laughs> that's that's definitely a, a thing. Is you know he doesn't have that many villains on his own. Uh, I don't even know if he has any like his own rogues gallery. So who's he gonna fight? Um, however, we are possibly looking into getting more Hawkeye in more movies. Now I know he was signed for a couple different um, movies in the franchise. Um, mm -hmm. So hopefully we're gonna get to see him more in the Marvel Universe. So, uh, Matt, we'll start with you. What are your thoughts on no solo movie and then seeing more of him, not only Captain 3, but in the rest of Marvel? Well, to be honest, I don't see too much happening with the whole Hawkeye getting his own movie. Number one, he doesn't really have a really big rogues gallery. You know what I mean? He's more of a support character. He's an awesome support character. I'm not trying to down him, but he's not one of those comic books that will just be like, Oh, it's Hawkeye! I need to go on whatever comic book day it is, what, mm -hmm. Wednesdays or something like that, mm -hmm. to pick up those little books. No, I can't. I, I don't see it. I don't see it bringing in enough money. You know what I mean? I think it will dig into the pockets of Disney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. But uh, him coming in for the other movies, you, can't really, you really can't have the Avengers movies without Hawkeye. Granted, they... Sh I agree with you with the whole him not having, you know, more of a role in the Avengers movie, but to be honest, how much of a role can you really get other than shooting arrows? I mean, come on, man. How right. many arrows did he shoot? <laughs> a a mean, lot. He was out. He only had that one left, and he still put it to good use, so. Granted, but then now what now? Yeah. Just, good job, guys. <laughs> Way to go, you know? <laughs> so, but... I'm still excited to see Hawkeye in the Avengers mm -hmm. movie and stuff, but, you know, I, can, I, I still don't see how they can make a good storyline with it. Hell, yeah. I don't even see the new Ant-Man movie being a good movie. Mm -hmm. But I've been surprised I've been wrong before, so I'll still watch it religiously because I'm a Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, one thing I, I just kind of thought of was, uh, like, in terms of sales, Halloween's getting ready to come around the corner we get a Hawkeye costume, let's say, who are the kids going to go for? Probably Captain, Thor, and Iron Man. Maybe even Hulk. Hulk. 
Uh, yeah. The girls will definitely probably, you know, the, the, the nerd girls will probably go to Black Widow. But how many people are really going to go for Hawkeye? I don't doubt he would get some sales, but he's not the one bringing in the money. So I definitely agree with that. Yeah. yeah. All right, Jess, what about you? What are your thoughts? Well, I like Hawkeye. He's straight up sexy. So that's kind of <laughs> what you're talking about. Um, it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword because obviously, yeah, he's not that popular. But neither was Iron Man when he came out. No one knew who Iron Man was, and then they gave him his own. They gave him a shot. So by saying he's not really popular, well, we're not we're not giving him a shot to see if he could, you know, maybe do his own movie. Now, I mean, he's a great supporting character, as you said, but I don't know. I mean, he he could. I mean, I he could maybe him and Black Widow together could do a movie because there's a bunch of uh, comic storylines of them together. Um, maybe he just needs a buddy. Maybe Hawkeye and Hulk. Maybe he just he needs like probably another guy. No, he, he needs a support character, hands yeah, down. Yeah, he needs his own support really character for the support have... character. Sorry. Um, but I mean, there there has to be a reason because Arrow is doing so well as a TV show, and Green Arrow and Hawkeye are basically the same thing. So why is Arrow doing so well, and they're giving Arrow a chance? You know, there's rumblings of of an Arrow movie coming out, but they don't want to give Hawkeye a chance. So I don't know. I mean. Maybe they don't think he could do his own TV show. Maybe they just don't think he can do it on his own. I mean, I, I, I'd, give him, I'd give him a chance. Because uh, what's that uh, movie he did a couple years ago, the, the Bourne movie? The That's Bourne basically Legacy Hawkeye. He just didn't shoot any arrows. Yeah. I mean, a movie like that, like an action movie, like you can do some kind of thriller with you know, spies and stuff, I, I think it, would, you know, it wouldn't fit the standard mold of you know, the, uh, the Marvel Universe, but at least it'd be something cool. Because, I mean, he doesn't really have any superpowers. He's just an awesome assassin. So, I don't know. I say give him, give him a chance. I agree, but I think Marvel already pushed towards... Okay, the reason why Green, Green Arrow was doing so well is that universe, that TV show universe version of it, there's a lot of regular people villains that are, you know... Someone he can actually stand up to. Granted, there might be superpowered people or something like that, but something that can stand a chance. You already jumped, like, all these other superhero movies, Hulk, Captain America, Thor, and stuff like that. We already know there's godlike, you know, threats in the universe already. If he was to, like, you know, have his own movie beforehand to introduce with, you know, Black Widow and Hawkeye, yeah, people will actually be like, oh my god, this is awesome. But they kind of jumped the gun when it came to whole the whole uh, the universe. The world's gonna be taken over by Loki and well, what the hell is his name? Um, uh, Thanos and stuff like that. But they never gave him a chance to shine. And since they jumped the gun, he's gonna be foreshadowed. Yeah, I was gonna agree. Or foreshadowed, uh, uh, whatever. I was actually gonna say more lines. What what you were saying? Um, maybe if they had d done him first, maybe. Um, also, too, the way they kind of set him up was to be a supporting character. They didn't really set him up to be his own hero, to, to be his own uh, his own person or whatever. Um, they set him up to be a supporting character. Um, so that, you know, that's kind of where we sit with that. Would I like to see a full Hawkeye movie? Maybe. I mean, I, I'm not going to not watch it. Um, I like Jeremy Renner. I think he's a great action star. And uh, I definitely think it'd be awesome. The thriller aspect of, of wanting a movie for him... I think that's why they're going to do – that's why they're bringing him into Captain America because he would fit that world better than uh, than the Iron Man universe or the the gods and Thor and stuff like that. So I definitely think him and Captain America 3 is going to help him out. Um, he's going to get uh, – hopefully he will get a better following because since since his appearance in Thor, he's been underutilized, I think. Yeah. While I kind of disagree with the whole use of uh, you know after the arrows, then what he's going to do, I think he could definitely do more. They just have to set them up for it. They have to write it in, in a way that brings, and they can do it. Obviously, it's oh, just, I have total yeah. faith in Joss Whedon. Yeah, right, right, <laughs> total so, faith. <laughs> so they just, they just have to do it. That's what they got to do. Um, as far as the full movie, you know, like I said, I'll give it a shot, but, but we're not going to get it. So unfortunately, yeah. We want to give a big shout out to Gotham, or at least I do, to the premiere of Gotham. I thought it was excellent. Um, compared to what we talked about on last week's show, I definitely think it has a little bit better, um, it was better than what I expected. Of course, it's, uh, after watching it also, I don't think it's going to be that great of a show. Of course, we'll have to wait and see, um, just because it's only the first episode. It's the pilot, man. Yeah. You've got to give it a chance. It was still awesome as yeah, a pilot. No, don't I mean? get me wrong. I still liked it, and I'm so looking forward to seeing it this Monday. 
but I agree, it, it, it's just the pilot, it's just getting started. Uh, one thing I noticed that the it was has a lot to do with establishing the connections with the characters. We got a lot of uh, Easter eggs and things like that, and it's just establishing these connections before we start moving on to the actual drama of what the whole show is about. Um, but do you have any other input? I think it's going to be more around the, around the long, along the lines of Gordon. To be honest, right, like, right. and I'm actually kind of excited about that because there's not been too many stories with, you know, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? I like, and it's like, I, I'm really excited to see how he progressed to who he is and how, like, Gordon inspired Bruce, but then later on, when he, you know, he's an old man, all that kind of stuff, commish, whatever, it reverses roles, you know what I mean? I, I think it's just... I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain. There's not, I don't know if there's a word for it, but it's just... I'm excited for that. The yeah. one thing I did not like about it, and it's just me, it probably was only because it was just one scene, two scenes, whatever. I'm not feeling the whole act... the child actor of Bruce. The whole... Like, it was too... Uh, overacted? Okay. Or even underacted? I don't know how to explain it. The whole, like... You know <laughs> what I mean? It, it, it just... It didn't feel like... You felt for Bruce. Right. Like, you're like, oh, I remember that scene. Not, oh, that's You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I agree. Yeah. All right, Jess, what about you? Uh, I, I wasn't as excited as I hoped I would be. It, I saw it, and it was, to me, it was pretty much just Law and Order Gotham. Um, I don't <laughs> know. I can't. I, I was waiting. I was waiting for him to say that. You know, I mean, I can't, I can't really. I mean, it's okay. I mean, I, I'll keep watching it. It is the first episode, so I'll give it a little time. But, I mean, I can't really – I don't know. How do you make a Batman show and not have it be about Batman? I'm just – I want it to be about Batman. I just want – like, why can't they do Smallville? You know, it was still about Superman even though he wasn't Superman yet. I mean, I don't know. I just – I think I need more time. Just maybe it will go in a different direction. But to me, it just seems like any other cop show out there just set in Gotham. One of the things I absolutely hated was the fact that – Basically, every, all the characters are, are running around with giant signs. I'm the Penguin. I'm the Riddler. Like, okay, we get that. You don't need to remind us and do little in-jokes every ten seconds. Hey, you're a Penguin. You walk like a Penguin. Penguin? Okay, I, we get it. You will I turn agree. into the Penguin eventually. You don't need to shove it down a throat. So, so that was that the guy named little Penguin annoying Penguin? that they kept saying, <laughs> I don't like your riddles, wink. So just, bleh, I don't know. Yeah, so, I, I, I agree. Know. I agree. The, uh... Is, I mean, some of the characters were clearly... You know, if they did it subtly, it would have been great. And I'm pretty sure the fans would have appreciated it. Or if they did but it I do once, feel that they were a little not forced. five times. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, it's funny, though, that you mentioned Law & Order, because I remember that was the line you used last week. I didn't get that Law & Order feel. I definitely got a cop show feel out of the show, but I didn't get that Law & Order feel. Um, I don't know. I was kind of thinking about doing a, uh, a review... It's kind of late now, considering it's it's the weekend. But uh, if you guys still want to see it, let me know. I'll definitely post it. But I'm not sure how I feel about it just yet. But of course, you know, it is just the the pilot episode. It is episode one, uh, so we just got to give it a little bit more time to see if it if it really truly shines to be that show that that you know we're, we're hoping it, it will be. Miss Chloe, uh, I can't pronounce her last name, and I apologize. Chloe Moretz or Moritz. Uh, she was uh, Hit Girl in the Kick Ass and Kick Ass Two. She has been confirmed by a couple different sources that she will be playing the Pink Ranger in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers reboot. However, as far as I know, she's the only one that's 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 uh, like set. They are looking at Liam Hemsworth to possibly be Jason the Red Ranger. Uh, right now, we still don't have any other names for the other guys just yet. And we're also possibly maybe going to see Mr. Jason David Frank, or who you guys might know better as uh, Tommy, the Green Ranger, the White Ranger, uh, Red Zio, and then briefly Red Turbo. Uh, he, we were getting hints that he was going to play a cameo. Now it's starting to seem like we might get a bigger role out of him, possibly play Jason's dad and be a type of mentor to the Power Rangers. Uh, so that's possibly what we're going to be seeing. Apart from that, everything else right now is still kind of just like, uh, maybe we're not, we're not sure yet. Um, but Jesse, we'll start with you. Um, what are your thoughts on... All the, the rumors right now of possible characters and possible roles, what are your thoughts? Uh, I wouldn't get too attached to it because <laughs> like rumors like that, they could just go crazy flying out the window. You could just start naming names. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know. I did read the article, so I don't know if it's confirmed, confirmed, or it's like kind of like that hint of that she's playing Pink Ranger. Um, she's kind of young, so I think they're going to really go for that teenager kind of vibe. A lot of people were thinking, well, maybe they'll make them kind of adult, like maybe 20s or something like that. But I think they're trying to stick with that whole teenagers with attitude thing. Um, I'm I'm kind of looking forward to it, but again, you know, my Michael Bay syndrome is just pulsating in my brain, so I, I really can't trust it right now. I just you just gotta wait and see how it develops. If it doesn't turn into like Tron suits and they fly around in spaceships, then it should be okay. So we just we just gotta see. Yeah, it's it's funny you mentioned Michael Bay because in the article I read that uh, that some fans are asking for Michael Bay to direct. Ugh. Exactly. I stopped it. I thought it. I was like, no, we do not need Michael Bay on this. First of all, actually, Michael Bay actually might be good for that. There's unnecessary explosions in the original okay. Power Rangers, anyways. You can slap no. them. There's like sparks coming out of their face. You know, I mean, come on. I mean. That's the I one the movie green. I think that might actually work for him. <laughs> no. Unnecessary explosions everywhere. No. They, like they fall over, there's an explosion. They can pour milk and it's like <laughs> whoosh, you know? <laughs> it's I, I mean, I think that would actually, you know, validate Michael Bayness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I mean, come I, on, right? I, I mean I guess yeah, I could definitely see it. <laughs> um But yeah, I'll, I'll agree with Jesse as well. It's just rumors right now, so please, and you know, take rumors with a grain of salt because when people are in talks to do something, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're confirmed to do it. Until we actually hear it from the source, um, from the actual actor, or from, from the, the production company, you know, or even the director, or just, you know, somebody with power over there, and until we hear something specifically, you know, this is not what's legit. Now, with Liam being Jason the Red Ranger, I guess that could work. Um, right now, he is starting to get a little bit bigger with his role in uh, in the Hunger Games. Um, we're starting to see him in a couple other movies as well. So he may be an okay fit. Um, I really don't have any objections to it. What I want to see is more of a... Uh, I want to see more of a martial arts type movie. You know, I, I don't really want to see big names. I mean, great, we have big names. That's, that's wonderful, whatever. Donald Glover is a black ranger. Right. Actually, that's 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 a rumor too. That really is that really that's a rumor. It's a, a rumor. Oh Donald Glover is coming for Black Ranger. It is. It it's uh it's it's out there, and uh, I I think that'd be great. Why I not? I think that'd be kind of fun. Yeah. I, I, I want to see his actual like if, again rumor audience of course, but if he was to be the Black Ranger, I mean, come on. Like either even if he was to go back to his like goofy acting or whatever, or even just go into a serious role. You're just gonna look at him and be like, "Yeah, the whitest teeth in the world, man." <laughs> like he could be talking about stabbing a baby or something. And I'm like, "Those are some amazing teeth, you know." <laughs> but nah, that's just, <laughs> yeah, I'm not explaining. Uh, I'll oh, shut up. <laughs> for, for me, uh, for me, I, I just want to see you know something like the raid. You know, something with that type of martial arts intensity. So for me, regardless whoever they pick, I, I really hope that they do at least a year worth of training or something because I really want to see a lot of flashy moves. One of my favorite Power Rangers is uh, Johnny Young Bosch, who plays Adam, the Black Ranger, in season three. He's really flashy. Uh, I actually just saw a compilation video of his. He's doing a lot of uh, tornado kicks, a lot of uh, lotus kicks, a lot of sweeps. He does a lot of um, butterfly twists and things like that. I'm just naming a bunch of martial arts moves. <laughs> just name an animal and just say yeah. like some sort of movement. <laughs> yeah, like I'm really into martial arts. I, I'm, I'm really, you know, I'm, I, I'm really, I'm really into it. And I'm really into a slap. <laughs> so I really want to see that I, something similar to the raid, where that martial arts is is just all over that movie. Whether they're in the suits or out of the suits, I really want to see that. Everything else, all these names, sure, why not? Bring it on, I guess. So Matt, what about you about all these rumors uh, and your thoughts, you know, what, how do you see this going? I think they can do it, like, revamp it up, I mean, of course it's going to be a PG-13 movie, of course, but as long as they don't go too kitty and actually make it slightly a little bit more darker, I mean, like stabbing, you know, whatever, whatever, <laughs> but make it... Bring back your old audience, you know what I mean? Like, you know, people like us. We're not going to go watch the shows or something like that, you know what I mean? But feel like that nostalgic, but still have that feel for, oh, it's, yeah, it's for younger audiences, but like a Pixar thing, you know, it's for younger audiences, but the adults can actually enjoy it as well. Right. If, 
But if you just add that action, like you said, yeah, not so much wireframes. I'm not like the whole wire. Uh, I am just flying either. and jumping on leaves and. Shit. No, when the, when they use it, when they <laughs> use it for uh, for enhancements, like I know Jackie Chan and his stunts. Whenever he does a kick, sometimes they do have some wire foo to kind of help make it look a little bit, you know, not overly exaggerated like Crouching Tiger, but. I agree. Yeah, I agree with the cr old Crouching Tiger thing. Yeah. That's where I compare my wire thing. Like, I think it's not good. <laughs> just, they're flying, they're pixies, whatever. Go. No. Might as well watch a cartoon. I'm kind of excited for it. I, To be honest, I might actually watch it, you know? Be ashamed. Get granted, you know? I'm not going to put it on Facebook or Twitter. I'm like, come see the Power Rangers movie. What up? You know? You're going to dress up for the but... midnight showing? <laughs> what happened? You're not gonna dress up for the midnight show? Uh, I'm thinking the Pink Ranger. See if I can pick up chicks. <laughs> what, what are your guys' thoughts? You know, uh, are you guys excited? If you guys who have kids, are you guys excited to take your kids in to go watch it? What are your thoughts? Post it down below. We've been, uh, us three here, we're a little bit, we're in our 20s, late 20s, mid late 20s. So we're a little bit older, so we grew up with these movies. But Bill and Ted, we're getting a third one. I don't know, we don't know when yet, but we do have a lot of great news. The first, the guy who directed Galaxy Quest, and I can't remember his name right now, he is on to direct. I believe it is confirmed that he's on to direct, not a rumor. Um, but Mr. Alex Winters, who plays uh, Bill, he's kind of hinted at what the movie's going to be about, and it definitely seems like it's good, it's legit, and he's kind of pushing for it. And then shortly after, Keanu Reeves um, put his two cents on it, so he's, it seems like he's down for it as well. So right now, what it sounds like is that the, they got a script going. The script is set. Maybe they're still in the pre-production phase. They're trying to sort out scouting for locations, maybe other actors, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe they're still in that phase. Uh, but it, it's, for me, it's pretty awesome that it's coming. Uh, we have um, the brief synopsis that we have, and this is a spoiler alert, but the brief synopsis we have is that... Uh, they're, I think, in their 40s right now. Bill and Ted are in their 40s. They have yet to fulfill their prophecy. Remember from the from the second one, they were the ones that were supposed to jam out and create world peace all around the world. Supposedly, that hasn't happened yet. So right now, we're going to see them trying to live up to the expectations that, that everybody had for Bill and Ted, for uh, Wild Stallions. Um, so with that said... That actually is kind of funny to me because at the end of the second one, you see all these posters there. You see Time Magazine. You even see Death. He's in on it as well. And you see that they do have a bit of a fallout and then they come back and World Peace is restored. And you see all that stuff happening. And as we know with time travel from the different movies we've seen, that not everything is set in stone. Everything can change at any time. So it's going to be cool to kind of see them continue to be the Wild Stallions, probably in the basement or whatever, not having fulfilled their prophecy uh, so that's going to be interesting to see. Matt, we're going to start with you. What are your thoughts on Bill and Ted 3 getting ready to come out and this little mm -hmm. brief synopsis of what it's going to be about? Well, see, now, most likely it's going to pertain to, like, today, you know what I mean? And since it's, you know, obviously not the early 90s and stuff like that, the one thing I'm worried about is, are they going to pull a Star Trek slash, what was it, uh, X-Men thing where they kind of reverse everything and redo everything? That's one thing I'm worried about. Um, also excited, depending on how well they do it, of course. Another thing is, are they going to have good roboticists? I kind of want them in there, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Has everyone forgot about that? Like, I <laughs> want them in there, like, just chilling in the background. They don't have to say anything, just there, you know what I mean? Uh, they're going to have the Reaper back. That's another one. I'm overall excited, but there's so many things that are... I don't know how they're going to do it. Are they going to do it when they're adults? Or are they going to probably do like a past thing where after that whole part two thing happened when they destroyed the evil losses? Oh, Station. Yeah. Station oh, was Station. so you know weird. I, mean? I remember <laughs> Station. Oh my God, that was so weird. <laughs> well, no, he's going to go back to heaven anyways. That's an easy write-off, yeah. you know what I mean? They're going to go back to heaven. Uh, anywho, but like... I'm excited for it. I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna be excited, even if it was a shitty movie or if it is a shitty movie. I will still enjoy it because Bill and Ted was hands down excellent. You know, <laughs> you know. I, 
I did that for like three years, you know what I mean? Straight. I'm like, that's cool. That was awkward. There's a lot of, there's, there's a lot of nostalgia behind this movie you, you uh, gotta see it. that I think is going to be awesome. There's the, the robot us's. There's the good robot us's, which totally like Home Depot and stuff like that. Too. Great. Uh, the princesses. They, they also had kids, I remember. They came back and they had kids. They Oh, they're going to have to fit that in. Too. They're going to have to fit that somehow. Um, I don't think they're going to mess up with the timeline to kind of cause for a reboot like X-Men Days of Future Past did. I th- it, it, it is going to be more like a sequel. Um, I'm not too worried about that. For me, what I'm kind of worried about is are people going to want to come back to it? You know... Hardcore fans probably will, you know, every, you know, every, every culture, pop culture thing that comes out will have their own cult following, their own background of, of loyal fans. But is this one of those properties that has that backing where it's going to be awesome when it comes out? I think maybe, but we'll see. But I don't, I I have faith, man. I have faith. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be a Bill and Ted sequel that I I really am excited about. One hundred (laughs) percent. I just. I can't wait. I really can't wait. Although, it had too much of a... The, I, I'm also a Doctor Who fan. I didn't realize they took the whole phone oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 to, yeah. like, yeah. time machine. Still, it's very clever. I grew up with Bill and Ted, but, you know, I just... I don't know. Right. I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jesse, what about you? What are your thoughts? I'm real excited to see it. I'm a big uh, Bill and Ted fan. Um, I'm kind of worried because nowadays a lot of studios kind of want to cash in on our childhoods and sort of revamp and redo old movies. I mean, we got Dumb and Dumber 2 coming out. Um, you know, like we, uh, there's rumblings. Uh, we're trying to get Ghostbusters 3 eventually in the next hundred years, maybe. Um, I think it's cool if they do it correctly. If they don't, you know, screw it up and try to make it, you know, as close to the originals as possible. Otherwise, it's just two old guys running around acting like they're kids. Uh, you know, so... We just gotta we just gotta see how it plays out. I mean, I I don't really know what it, what it would be like today because Bill and Ted was was pretty big, you know, in the in the nineties. You know, it's twenty years later. Do people do people really care anymore? So, uh, you know, it's not as obviously it's not as big as Star Wars because people go nuts over Star Wars. Um, but we just gotta see. I mean, they tried, you know, that that really crappy movie, uh, Biodome, with Pauly Shore. Have you you've seen that? It was so fun. <laughs> I did it. I do remember hearing it was about bad, it. But I don't it's think I saw the movie. <laughs> no, it was that was uh, written as Bill and Ted Three. That that script was uh, originally Bill and Ted Three. They didn't want to come back and do it, so they retweaked it, and it turned into Biodome. And obviously, it's a can of poopy. Um, so I don't know. We just hopefully the script is as long as the script is good and it's funny and it you know makes you remember all the good times you had with the other two movies, then then it should be fine. Hopefully they don't screw it up. So, I, I, I'm, I'm trying right. to think of a ti- what would be a good title for uh, for the movie because they had Excellent Adventure, which was the first one, then Bogus, or, and then Bogus Journey was the second one when they die. Bill and Ted's semi tolerable Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, we're definitely excited for it. We hope you guys are excited for it as well. We're kind of interested to see what you guys are, you know, what were your guys' thoughts on 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 this movie coming out. Um, so. I don't know, man. It's just a lot of anticipation, a lot of excitement, um, and I, I I have faith that they're going to do it well. I really do. All right, guys, so that's it for the show, but before we go, we have a couple things. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have any questions this time, so I kind of want to reinforce, if you guys have questions, let us know. If you guys have topics you guys want to talk about. The whole point of the show I wanted was so that um, we don't always get to talk about nerd stuff at work, at home, with friends, because not everybody does that but that's something i want to try to do here talk about nerd stuff with you so when we go pick topics i try to pick something that's going to hit everybody of course some of it's going to be the major headline news like avengers and and what's going on with the movies but every once in a while i'll try to snip in something there that i think other people are going to be interested in like what's xbox doing or what's uh disney doing from disney channel or uh, what's going on in the comic world comic book world you know i always want to try to get some of those pieces in there but I want to hear from you guys what you guys want to see, what you guys want to talk about, so that we can update you on what's going on with whatever your favorite thing is in the world of fandom. So please submit your, your questions or topics. Do uh, it. 
It's not a threat, but it is. <laughs> it's a promise is what that is. <laughs> uh, the second big thing is uh, I've been tweeting and Facebooking about a Walking Dead contest. And uh, this is what, yeah, well, I'm, you know, uh, I'm hosting the contest, but this is what uh, what everyone needs to do. In order to be entered, what you have to do is you have to follow on Facebook, or sorry, like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and follow on Twitter. You have to do those three things because when I send a personal message, and if you're not following, I won't be able to send it to you. So you guys have to follow. Um, so that's a requirement. Now, in order to enter, what you guys need to do is October's getting ready to come up. Walking Dead is getting ready. I think we're just two weeks away. So what I need you guys to do is send me a picture of your best Walking Dead scene. You could be zombies. It could be just you standing with a weapon. You could be cosplaying. Just so long as the picture of you, zombie type mode. You don't have to be the zombie. Your friends can be zombies. Or if you want to be the zombies, have at it. Uh, but we need you guys to send in these pictures of you and your zombie mode. Um, and I'm going to hold the contest for about two, three weeks and contest will end on walking dead premiere. Uh, so for next week, we're going to promote it again and throughout, you know, from here until then, I'm going to be promoting it. Uh, but like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitter, send a picture of you in your zombie mode, uh, and you'll be entered to win a walking dead. It's going to be a Funko pop vinyl figure. I'm not sure who the character is just yet. Um, it's a surprise. It's a surprise. Yeah, <laughs> I'll probably announce it maybe a couple days before the the end. Um, but right now, I'm not sure yet. Everybody's probably going to ask for Norman Reedus. That may be something I'm going to do, or I might do a different character. We'll see. But go ahead and start s sending those pictures in and stuff like that. So it's it's coming. So if you guys want to take part of it, do those things. Make sure you follow and then send those pictures in. All right, guys. So again, if you guys have any questions or topics, um, you know, mail it, book it, tweet it. Let me know, or you can post in the comments down below. Again, we want to do the show for you guys, so send that information in. Um, so that's it from us here at Totally Fan, and we'll see you until then. What's up? Bye.